Well guys, it's not stopped raining all day. Cloud is grey as. This is in for the day. No melt today. Ooh, okay guys, well it's gone down a little bit. So uh, still a little bit of drizzle in the air, but not much. I'm going to give this a go. I, I, I can't wait. <laughs> I've got to give it a go. Right, so we've got the Devil Forge set up. In the crucible. And then a nice new little ingot mould and of course dried out copper MOSFET transmitters. Right, let's get it lit. Whoosh. Right, she's away. It's time to get up to temperature. I won't get my welding gloves, I think. Oh, she's getting nice and warm in there. I'll do guys while I'm waiting for it to warm up. Just tip these, put these MOSFETs in. Okay guys, I'm just going to shut her off while I uh, load the crucible in and I'll put a beer mat in the base on top of the uh, heat brick, whatever you call them, heat resistant brick, fire brick, that's it. Um, top tip by Big Stack D, apparently it prevents the crucible from sticking to the uh, fire brick. Oh, nice and warm in there guys. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to plop this in, aren't I? There we go, well plopped. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that was a bad idea, it's just burnt my bloody beer mat. Oh well, I'll have to have a look at Big Stack D's channel and see where I went wrong with that. Anyway, so, let's load it in. Yeah. Well, I haven't got any lifters, I have got some on order. But, for now, these will have to do. Here we go guys, sat in, ready to melt. Let's shut the lid and crank her up. I can't get the phone over too much guys, it'll overheat. But I hope you can see down in there. Alright, time to have a little look inside I think. Oh, they're coming along nicely. Still a little bit solid yet. Wow, just look at them flames, guys. It's just cooking now. Holy moly. Have a look. Whew. Oh, it's definitely melting. Wow, that's hot. Might put some more in. Okay guys, so I've been told to warm the little ingots up. Stick it on there for a couple of minutes because that is good to go in there now. And as we've had a bit of rain, I've put this piece of cardboard on this um, paving stone uh, just it, it is dry there's a slight sprinkle but I don't want these ingots to crack if they hit water on the floor I don't think this is a sight you could ever get tired of seeing, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 
Come on, come out. <laughs> come on, Well, there you go guys there's the first one of my copper pours it's a bit dull looking but later on tonight i'll give it a bit of a polish up all right let's get in that puddle quick here we go oh <laughs> sorry guys hang on i've lost it oh there we are guys there's one of them oh i'm well happy oh my shoes are leaking so guys there you go my very first copper melt using these little dinky ingots <laughs> the learning curve i've got a long way to go but i'm really happy with how they've turned out um i'll put a link up below or a description as to what the weight was. I've forgotten what the weight of these transistors was before I started. But I've got two nice little copper ingots. Yeah, a bit of a mess down here. There's a bit more copper in there. I was a bit slow with the pour. Like I say, guys, first pour. Right, as luck would have it, the scrap gods have now decided to let it start raining. So I'm not going to clean these up today. I'll do that during the week and I'll put a picture of them on the community page on my channel but uh, yeah I best get all this in before it starts things start cracking like this and what have you alright guys thanks for watching thanks for having the patience to watch if you liked it like comment subscribe okay guys just a quick supplementary I've decided to weigh them and see what the difference was before and after and I've actually got where are we? 800 and 840 grams of ingots, plus in the crucible there's a little bit more, but we'll call it 840 for argument's sake. Now I'll get these cleaned up on the wire wheel at work, I'm not doing it in here. And um, yeah, anyway, I'd just like to say big shout out to a couple of guys who've been encouraging me on the channel. Those three actually, it's uh, Scrap It All, uh, Bushdog Scrapper, and scrap Rodriguez. Rod, I hope I'm saying it right. Rodriguez. I hope so. Go check out the channels, guys. Show them some support. They've shown me lots of support. And everybody else in the scrapping community. Thanks, guys. Take care.